Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm Pop. Why don't you introduce us to the, uh, okay? All right, why don't you introduce us to the rest of the uh, family? Okay, Pop. well, to my left, my oldest daughter, Cleotha. Cleotha? Cleotha sings tenor, yes. Tenor. And in the center, my son, Purvis, he Purvis. sang baritone. Baritone. To the extreme left, the youngest of the group, that's Mavis. Mavis. She sang lead with a contralto voice. Mm -hmm. Well, you've got a very nice family. I think uh, as nice as the uh, music, and that's very nice, are the names. The names Thank are you. beautiful. Thank and you. And people are beautiful. Thank Absolutely you. Absolutely beautiful. And you've been singing for how long now as well, a family unit? Uh, since 51. Where did you all start singing? I mean, when you first Well, myself, no, I'm a Mississippian. I started in Mississippi. But they were born in Chicago, and they've been singing in Chicago ever since uh, they started to sing, but I started down south. And you started singing by yourself, by and then you got the family together. Yeah, I was singing solos until uh, I organized them as a group. Right. And we started singing together. And you have a sort of background in gospel, don't you? Right. Or we a heavy sang, background. Right. We're mostly gospel and folk singers. Gospel and folk right, singers. Right, uh-huh. Let me ask you something. You've sung in gospel shows and I, I imagine in, in actual revival meetings, right? Right. And you've also sung at folk concerts and so on. Do you find the uh, audience different? Do you feel that basically the way in which you reach them is the same, whether it be called gospel or folk, is just you giving out what well, you've got? Uh, um, it's not much different. Not uh, much different. We reach them I mean, we've sung on uh, gospel, folk, jazz, and blues shows. And all of them, everybody seem to enjoy the gospel singing. Wow, well, I see every reason why people would love you everywhere. Let me ask you this. Do you feel you're able to, like, through your own music, get out your feelings as many of the young people are doing? Because I feel it's just another way of, of, of saying your thing. Right. So, yeah, we, well, lots of young people would like to stay for singers. Yeah, I right. would imagine they would. <laughs> would you say that there's a, a religious connection, either directly or indirectly, since you have these gospel backgrounds, because you are performing to in which they can sort of get right. along and... Get along a young, nice life. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's very good. Do you find a lot of young people coming to see you? More sure. More than, more ever. than ever now. Yeah. More and more as we, time rolls along, we get gaining more and more young people. Well, I would imagine you would. Because yeah. there's something very basic, I think, in what people are saying, whether it be gospel or blues, we've been trying to show that throughout this get together, that everybody has their own musical style and their own way of expressing their feelings, but all it is expressing their feelings, whatever the style might be. That's right. If, you, if you're a uh, if your song carry a message, it will reach anybody. It will reach the young and the old, you know. So we try to sing songs that really carry a message. Well, that's good. I think uh, the message that you convey is not only uh, a specific one, but one of a great love and affection for what you're doing, <laughs> and a tremendous feeling for the people that you're sharing it with.